you know something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis when rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless when a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is and when artists are paid to degrade the very women that have made them to the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we dispose of once they are no longer attractive. Tea's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic and you can call me unrealistic but just listen to the statistics 7 in 10 men view porn. While over 75 million are addicted 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making one in four searches sexually related it's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked. Degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views. It's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty that is so misconstrued. As we judge each other looks off of Facebook likes. Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like. I mean we're so obsessed with our outside that we have. Slowly lost sight of who we really are in real life I mean it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem. Looking at these magazines thinking they have to. Look like what they see please you are worth much more than a 2D image on a screen you are a living breathing human being. If only you knew what you really mean. Just look into your history and begin to read of all the girls in the world who were capable. To achieve and you will surely see with certainty females like Fatima al fairi who opened the first ever university. Rufaydar al Islamiyah, the first nurse to perform surgery. And Aisha bint Abi Bakr the greatest female scholar in eternity it's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies honestly we don't have to give up our modesty in order. To be successful for you are worth much more than an object. That is sexual you have so much more potential if you only knew your worth you would see that you could be. Like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth like Mary the mother of Jesus, chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers. A woman who stood strong even when she was abused. Falsely accused and ridiculed for things she would never ever do. So it didn't really matter when there was nobody else besides her. For she knew that God was Rizak and her ultimate provider. And she had her trust in him alone. Just like a seer the wife of Phone, a woman who was brave and courageous stood up for what was right and didn't let. Anybody change this a woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death. She gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next next up Khadija, the mother of the believers a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the prophet. For over 25 years his first wife, the love of his life and the mother of his kids she was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is. Beyond any words that can make you understand? So much so that even Allah sent her his salam she was grand. Just like her daughter Fatima, the master of all women. In paradise a woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed Al-Zara the splendid with the most generous of hearts a woman who gave up her food so many times she had no choice but to fast she would stand up on behalf of her father. Even as a little girl and such are the examples of the greatest women in the entire world and it had nothing to do with how they looked but for whom they truly so ignored the standard of success defined by society when God has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety regardless of your color, your shape or your race for God does not look at your bodies, nor does he does look at your face rather he looks towards your heart and checks your faith but it doesn't really matter who the people think you are when you could be like the greatest of all women in the eyes of Allah.